Hey everybody, it's Nando and welcome back to How to Date a Magical Girl. And last we left off, well, blood, death, and all sorts of... What the hell? This shit now... Yeah, and all sorts of, you know, general positivity and good vibes. And, and, but Yui finally replied to us because she's been gone too. And, and is likely suspect as well now. Sorry I didn't get back to you sooner. I'm feeling a bit, bit better today. I'll come to school tomorrow so we can meet at lunch. I agree to meet with her and feel a little relieved that she's doing better now. Personally, I need another lazy day in front of the TV before I can face tomorrow. So I'd better get on with that. Important things. Big day. Lots of effort. Cat mode engaged. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all feeling a little better after last week. If any of you feel like you need to talk about what happened, or if you would like grief counseling, my door is always open. We have reopened the second year wing, so class and for our second year students will resume as normal. I'd like to ask that you all stay vigilant while attending classes from this point forward. If you see any suspicious activity, please report to a teacher at once. I'd also be of you to try and travel at least in pairs, and no more, no less than that, you know? Just until you have any idea who the fuck is going around butchering children, well, not children. Students. Of course, we'll do our best to ensure that you feel safe while at the school. So please bear with us as we continue to investigate the circumstances behind this tragic incident. Yeah. Hello. Hey, Yui. Is it just the two of us here? Yeah, I asked it as hello to speak alone. Thank you. I have some that I can face them yet. I understand. So, what do you want to talk about? There are already some rumors spreading with the girl's death. And it's just like when the demon was summoned. Are people accusing you? Yes. I fucking knew it. I'm sorry, Yui. I put a lot of thought into over the weekend, and I don't think you could do anything so horrible. That means a lot to me, Addison. Thank you. Do you want me to talk to me and see if you can quash the rumors again? <sighs> nah, not yet. I'm gonna be strong and try to explain myself to anyone who will listen. This is my fight, and even though I was dragged unwillingly, I want to be the one to clear my name. If you're sure. I am, but it feels good to know that you still trust me. I hope this hasn't impacted our friendship. Nah, we're good. Thank you. Anyway, if you want to spend some time together this week, I should be available. Just let me know. we Will do. Take care, Yui. I'm glad that Yui is trying to be strong. I think I need the same and keep moving on. But this whole affair bring me down, I'll never be able to keep up with my studies. Just need to keep doing my best. Well, we're back to the usual straightforward stuff. Well, what's today's schedule? Uh, news in the hallway, the department store, the classroom. The fucking use ice cream again, god damn it. And now we read. One chapter, okay, one chapter left, good. Time to get some sleep. Yes. Now, barring any unfortunate interruptions, hopefully I'll be able to continue doing some more progression at this point. Uh, today's the 19th. What's going on? Oh. New potion tomorrow. Okay, cool. Uh, it's raining next f Monday and Friday as well. Okay. Um... Park tonight, rooftop, and field. I forgot the. D damn it. Forgot to check if me you wanted the gloves. You! Stop right there! You're. You violated the law! You pay the code of final! <laughs> <sighs> okay, what do you want? Me? Yes, you. Well, I'll do this time. I just wanted to check up on you. God, when you're using stop you in the middle of the hallway? Last time, yes. Oh. How are you feeling? This is unexpected. I'm doing okay, all things considered. Well, good. Just be so to shit. So, so, to, so, so, so to get. What the fuck? What is French? I was getting awfully tired of you moping about all the time. I want you back to your old self, and you don't get a choice in the matter. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm doing my best. Hmm. And don't you go thinking this means I care about you because... Well, just don't think it. Okay, okay, I know you don't care for me, Kauri. That's all I said. Honestly, you're impossible, bucka. You're my friend, so of course I care about you. Just a little bit. Don't be getting any funny, funny ideas. Wouldn't dream of it. Hmm. Well, enjoy your day. I have things to be doing. Bye-bye. Pleasant as always. Laberry. I has book. Okay. What about what have I done so far? Exodus one, Exodus two, and three. Okay. So now we have all right, pretty magic. Uh, perception and alchemy. I'll go for alchemy. Some get that because that's but uh. Yeah. Oh, dude, what the hell was that? That sound skip. Fuck. Um. I. Oh, wait a minute. Let me see something. Did she? Nope. No idea. Okay then. And then no. Uh. I actually wanted to. Love potion. I need another holy water. Okay. Skip again. Want to holy water or an eddy? Ugh. But yeah, I could go looking for it, but honestly, it's a chance I might not get it. I don't know if I can buy something if I after I do it. But I should actually try and explore again, just see if I all I can find. I'll explore, but I don't know how this works. I don't know. Or the trees. I see something the horizon. Okay, so west. Oh, the Norton that contains earthy ingredients suitable for alchemy bases. Uh, actually, you know what? Maybe it doesn't. Wait, does my perception of. Ooh, black earth. What's another fork in the road? Norton's produced a. Uh, rare and valuable. Two. Okay. Why is he giving me hints like that? Didn't you find some living in the bushes? I found two mandrake. Two of them are really into the forest. Okay, I didn't remember the last time I went it doing that, unless I'm just stupid. But we we have book. We never read book. Yes. Consume knowledge. Attention, please. I know there was a tragic event last week, but you cannot let your entire education be derailed by such a misfortune. It's more important than ever that you all study hard and you also learn how to defend yourselves. Regrettably, I won't be assisting with uh, that today. However, I can teach you how to be brew a concoction that may boost your finances a little. I'm talking about the world-famous fortune potion. Just one sip of this delicate broth will make the gods of modern day wealth look upon you in favor. Here's how to make it. I'm going to make a fortune potion. That's all there is to it. Of course, just drinking this potion alone is enough to bring you immense wealth. No, you still have to put some effort in it. Drink it up before working your part-time job to find the money you earn during your shuffle will, will greatly increase. Okay, that's all for today. Now scoot. Uh, scatter, vamos. Okay. <laughs> what do I want to do now? Uh... Nothing of significance happens today. It's a welcome change from the events of last week. Still, the murder remains the number one co topic of gossip around the academy. Unfortunate. Uh... Okay. What does fortune potion need? Oh. A mushroom, a jar of something that like evil water? Where the hell that is? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and brew this. Do I need it? Which won't be quite yet. Okay, that's about enough for today. Feel free to pack up your things. Since it's Friday afternoon, I'll need someone to stay behind and help me clean up. This time, I can't even try to escape to somebody's gaze. She's staring straight at me the entire time she's talking. <laughs> Addison, please stay behind. Everyone else, enjoy your weekend. My fellow classmates leave, and only I and Satomi remain. 
Want me to grab broom? That won't be necessary. How are you feeling this week? I'm doing okay. I think I'm mostly over the whole ordeal. That's good to hear. The scene you witnessed wasn't pretty. I don't blame you for being shaken by it. In fact, I'm actually somewhat surprised. Surprised by what? Well, you've bounced back quicker than I expected. I thought the trauma might have caused you to leave the academy entirely. Leave the academy? Don't get me wrong, I'm glad you stayed, but some students aren't as strong-willed as you. I guess it'll take more than that to get rid of you. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a poor joke. I shouldn't laugh about such things. The truth is, I'm also shaken up by the whole event. Really? You seem so calm on the day. I had to maintain my composure for the sake of my students. Who knows what would have happened if I'd cracked. Fair point. Anyway, I'm glad that you're doing okay. Even you, he seems in the mend. Though there are some vicious rumors about her flying around. It's sad, really. That poor girl can't seem to catch a break. If people would take the time to examine the situation, they'd see how clear it is that Yubi couldn't have committed such an atrocity. But what do you mean? Do you know who the murderer is? I only have suspicions, but I can say with complete honesty that Yubi does not make it onto my list of suspects. That's a relief. I need to spend more time with the other teachers. We are conducting a thorough investigation, so please don't think we are just resting on our backsides. Anyway, it's official the weekend. Go and enjoy yourself. Okay, I will. Thank you, Miss Otsuka. See you. I awaken to the sound of my phone buzzing. Oh. Dreary and rubbing sleep from my eyes, I glance at the blindingly bright screen. Hey, buddy. You want to grab lunch today? I'm going to be in town to grab some art supplies. It's from Noriko? And she called me buddy. What pains my mind to the fact I've been friend-zoned. Lunch in Noriko, huh? Well, even though I have no chance with her anymore, she's still my idol, and it would be nice if I'd have to do something normal for change. You should have back a reply and tell her I'm up for it. Great, how about Cafe Shiba? I'll see you there at 12. Cafe Shiba it is. Why is it every girl I, I meet seems to love eating there? Basically, I drain my wallet dry. <laughs> I have the cafe and peek inside to see Noriko waving at me. There you are. How are you? Not too bad. How are you? I'm great, thanks. I've had so much inspiration lately. I've even started working on a new, brand new manga series. Really? Wow. I didn't think there'd be a follow-up to Q Star so soon. <laughs> this series has nothing to do with Q Star. Sorry. I feel like I'm well and truly done with that story. I'll take a seat to look toward the back of the cafe and place an order with the, with the waitress. Uh. I can't tell you too much about the new series just yet, but you'll be the first to find out more. Nice, looking forward to it. When Q Star finished, I was pretty lost. It was a weird feeling after collecting all, year after year. Yeah, I understand. Something that that's a big part of your life just ends suddenly and you don't know what, oh, what to do anymore. I had that feeling all too well. But I'm sure I like this new series too. Even though it's a different story, I'm aiming to retain a lot of my fans, so there are some familiar elements. When do you think you'll start releasing it to the public? Hmm, maybe in a few months. Right, don't have to be patient. Yes, please. <laughs> so, how's your week been? Are you, are you learning a lot? Well, school has been pretty disrupted over the last week or so. Really? Why is that? Um, I'm not really sure I can say. Oh, is it juicy gossip? Wait, oh my gosh. Oh, how insensitive of me. Of course you can't talk about it. It's been all over the news. How could I have forgotten? Huh? You know about it? Yes, yes, I heard it about, about it a while ago. I've been so caught up in my own work that it slipped my mind for a moment there. That poor girl. The first media said it could have been a suicide, but not, not think it was a murder. What a horrible tragedy. Yeah. Did you know the poor dear? Is she your friend? No, I didn't know her, but... What is it? I was one of the ones who found the... the body. A look of shock crosses Noriko's face. I can tell she's feeling sympathetic. Is she though? Are you sure? No. <laughs> you poor thing. I can't believe you to see it firsthand. Heartbroken. I'm so sorry, Addison. I'm sorry you had to witness something like that. Somehow Noriko's comforting words make me feel a little better. Did you take some time off school? Yeah, just a day or two. But I'm back in the swing of things now. I think I can't afford to miss too many classes because we have exams next month. Exams, huh? No, I don't envy you there. Um, look. I can chuck the subject if you want, but I have one question about the girl. Oh? What is it? Norco leans forward of the table and whispers in my ear. Do they know who killed her? I shake my head. 
No, not to my knowledge. My friend Yui is having a hard time because some of the other students suspect her. Even though my teacher, Miss Otsuka, says she's not a real suspect, this student still thinks she might have been involved. Oh? Why is that? Well, she found the body just before I did. And there was a previous incident involving a demon summoning, which is a whole other thing. Uh, a demon summoning? Yeah, that was in a scary day. Luckily, no one was hurt. On that day, Yui was the only person to stay inside the school and everyone else evacuated. So, since she wasn't at the battle against the demon, people started to suspect she was pulling the strings. That unlucky girl. Does she seem like the type of person to do such things? No, of course not. She's a first year, just like me. She doesn't even have the ability to uh, summon demons, and I doubt she'd had the murderous intent to kill another student. I see. Sorry, I was just curious. It's fine. I know something that you're interested. Well, it sounds like you've had a pretty rough uh, start of the school year. Hope they didn't calm down for you. Uh, pretty rough is a little bit of an understatement, you know? Normally, pretty rough is, oh, my classes aren't going so well. I'm swamped with work. I'm stressed out. I'm not sleeping well. I'm not eating right. That's not going well. Uh, 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 summoning a monster from another dimension and then uh, an actual killing, that's... Um, th that's more than a little bit rough. Ah. Me too. I just want to face my exams. That's the only demon I need to worry about. <laughs> you they should have to worry about, yeah. Well, best of luck with it. Mm. You know, I probably shouldn't show you this, but it might cheer you up. Are you interested in seeing something secret? My mind races ahead and jumps to some unsavory conclusions. I managed to clear my throat and simply agree. Here, look at this drawing. Noriko reaches into her bag and hands me a sketchbook. It's a black and white draw uh, pencil and drawing of a heroic looking character wielding a sword and shield. The character is facing off against a great big dragon. It looks simply amazing. I'm quite familiar with Noriko's art style, but this is just on a whole other level. You drew this? This art is so much different from Cutie Star. You don't say! You don't say! Okay. I'm telling you, she's evil. I know it. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not crazy. I'm not losing my mind. She's, a, she's in on it. She's, she's fucking... She's the devil. Ugh. You like it? I'm going for more traditional fantasy art style with this story. Oh, I'm sure you are. It's... It's awesome. I love it. But there's just one thing. The character looks unfamiliar. I feel like I've seen them before. You didn't copy the character from someone else's work, did you? Mm hmm. Oh, no way! I can never I can never do such a thing. Take, take a closer look. What do they remind you of? Hmm. Wait, what the? This is... This is me. The character looks like me. I couldn't tell because of the arm and the helmet, but now I'm totally positive. Bingo! You win! What the? I have basis to hear my latest story on you. I hope that's okay. When we first met, you look, in, you, your look inspired me more than a little bit. I just felt like I had to try and capture you in this form. Unreal. I love it. I'm gonna be a star. <laughs> Something like that. I'm really glad you like it. I'm really moved that Noriko drew this based on my appearance. I absolutely can't wait to read the manga when she finishes it. Okay. I'm gonna get that sketchbook back now. It's my only copy so far. Oops. Okay. Here you go. I reluctantly hand the book back to her and she slips it in her bag. Do you want to stay for the cup of coffee? Sure. We, we ordered another round and ended up chatting for the rest of the afternoon. All in all, I had a really good time. I'm glad to have uh, Noriko as a friend. I feel like I can all tell her almost anything. I'm be part ways. I spend lazy night in front of the TV. I feel as though the cafe would be a good place to buy gifts for people. I should definitely go there more often. Does this unlock it? I can now travel to Cafe Shima. Ha ha ha! One more unlocked. One more destination for the roster. Yes. Yes. Today's... Wait, today's Sunday, isn't it? Yeah. You're at the park. Meet Cafe Shiba later. You know what? Okay. First off, I don't think... I'm not allowed to go back to the library, right? Even though I need to return the book. Oh, I cannot write. Okay. In that case, um... Okay. Uh, first, let's do some shopping. Let me see. Talk? Oh, you want to chat a little, a little old me? I'd be delighted. 
I seem to always get caught up working every odd hour of the day here. I don't mind at all. I love this little place. Even work can be enjoyed with a little effort to have fun. Oh, you're nice and positive. That's good. What do you sell? Pizza. Yosanabe. A hot pot full of a variety of meats and vegetables. A winter favorite. A croissant. Decadent buttered pastry baked in an intriguing shape. Okay, would Kauri like that just because she has the whole French angle going on? Tayaki, a fish-shaped cake filled with red bean paste. Best eaten fresh off the hot plate. Coffee, freshly roasted premium coffee brewed from the Blue Mountains. Of Sac oh, beans from the... <laughs> premium coffee beans from the Blue Mountains were sacrificed in order to brew this delicious beverage. Green tea. Traditional green tea brewed from powdered matcha, an ancient favorite that uh, refreshes the mind and body. And melon soda. Packs the taste of an aroma of a sweet summer melon. Uh, okay, well, I, uh, there's a lot of, well, which foods do I think different characters would like? Uh, like, maybe, maybe Kao would like cro croissants. The Tayaki, I don't, that kind of, uh, isn't, isn't red bean paste, like, sweet? I've never had a Tayaki before. So I, I think they're supposed to be sweet, though, aren't they? Usually, anyway, I don't know. But in that case, maybe maybe um, Kai would like that. Uh, these two, I don't know. Uh, the pizza, though. Well, hmm. I almost say Ray, but then again, I can also see her liking this. I have no fucking idea. And uh, that does look good, though. I'm hungry. Shit. Um. I'll just talk to her for now. Well, actually, you know what? Uh, what are the prices again? Right knife, 780, 480, 280, 480, 480, 380. Okay, I'm going to test the theory then. Because it did say to remember what people like to eat, right? But... Now that's popping up. I'm gonna wait though and talk to somebody else and see if they would all, if, they, if it's also there as well, because the gloves aren't there for everyone, the croissant's there for her. So if it's there for someone else, that doesn't mean that the food I do have to determine on my own. I want to make sure that before I go in and give it to someone, you know, based off the other items like the, the, the stuff you can buy from the, dar the department store. So uh, yeah, now I'll just talk to her. A few different topics. A little nervous. I'm talking about hopes and dreams. Hmm. By one. Okay. I I should take more of an interest in characters because they do. They, they are they are interesting. I just sort of ignore them, which is bad of me. Uh, okay. Right. Today you're in the classroom in the hallway of the department store. I think I'm gonna try to get me up to ten. Go on a date with her next. Try to devote my time between like studying, but today's raining. Today would be a good day to study something. Uh, so I'm probably gonna spend most of it studying in that case. Assuming you have the option to. Today passed rather slowly. Good. Okay. First off, the book repository. Return a book. Borrow a book. Uh, perception. Uh, yeah, perception, yeah. Okay. Go somewhere else. You know what I'm gonna do? Is go practice alchemy. Found here rainfall, some comforting, study here. And still out of sea, though. But, you know, that's good. And read the book now. I'm trying to really knuckle down and do as much training as I can while I have the, uh, the chance. Buff mine stats, please. Yes. Okay, and I think I'm actually in the episode here. I don't remember how long I've been... Actually, uh, I think I do know, actually. Yeah, yeah, okay. But there were a couple of pauses, so I guess I'm going to edit that out and hopefully it'll come down to a reasonable amount of time for the episode. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.